Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Bad Change News. Tonight, we have some shocking news on one of change management's most talked about topics. You've probably heard the words 70% of change fails and thought, whoa, that's high, why even bother? It turns out there's a lot more to this story. So we sent out our award-winning investigator, Ellie, to let us know what's going on with this 70% business. Over to you, Ellie. Thanks, Gilbert. As far as I can tell, it started with the misreporting of some 1993 research more than 30 years ago. Soon after, a few consultancies saw an opportunity to make money and got a bit creative with what it really takes to successfully change. They figured promoting a doom scenario and offering a quick fix solution would get them more business. And guess what? They were right, and it worked for years. However, we've recently seen change professionals from all around the world challenging the myth. You know I love a good story, so I've chased around the globe looking for all the goss. Starting in the Rocky Mountains, USA, I've witnessed change practitioners trying to take down the myth, only to have mysterious vans full of people in expensive suits build it back up. I then flew across to the UK, where I saw two change managers take matters, or should I say tyres, into their own hands to disable the spread of misinformation. I then followed the sounds of demolition and combat and found myself in Borobudur, Indonesia to find a man enthusiastically swinging a hammer at one of Consultancy X's 70% hidden bases. Next, I visited Upside Down World in Melbourne, Australia, where I came across a very unimpressed change manager fighting against some false advertising. All I could hear was bollocks, bollocks, bollocks as she set them straight. So what you're saying is it's not 70%? It sure seems like it, Gilbert. Because change is complex and ambiguous, it's not a single number that is always true. From my interviews with practitioners around the world, it seems that 30% of change is a success from start to finish. Another 50% gets delivered as agreed, but often needs extra time and money because things were rushed, poorly led and not well planned. The remaining 20% are the changes that get cancelled or end in disaster. So it's only 20% and not a massive 70%? Yep, that's right. Not so scary now, is it? If that's the case, how will Consultancy X and the myth promoters make enough money to afford their hobbies? Well, rather than focus on spinning an Armageddon story, they could instead clearly define what success means, develop a practical plan and ensure the change has strong leadership. Thanks for that insight, Ellie. I expect you'll be receiving your third Pulitzer for this discovery in the mail soon. And there you have it, folks, another myth busted. It's 20%, not 70%. This is Gilbert and Uno signing off for Bad Change News.